some of the stress, anxiety, and even unhealthy dependence that we experience that results to even mental health disorder is as a result of lack of setting healthy boundaries. You see, it is necessary in life that you set boundaries so that you can maintain your mental health. And on today's life, today we are looking at creating healthy boundaries. My name is Joyce Jakada. We are live on Facebook and YouTube at Equa Television International. Do well to join the conversation. You would like to tell us your experiences with lack of setting healthy boundaries and even when you resort to setting the healthy boundaries, what are your experiences? Drop it at the comment section on Facebook at Equa Television International. I have Fambus Lumon Sabi, Jemima Emmanuel, and Prudence. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I almost said it's Monday, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> 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 so don't get it twisted. <laughs> it's Tuesday and a beautiful one at that. As always, we appreciate God for the gift of life and we are so happy. And I encourage everybody to rejoice regardless. Mm -hmm. I know I I it's common now when you walk down the street to hear people say, times are hard. Mm. Like we are going through a lot. Mm. <laughs> I had someone earlier easy. saying that even when the money comes, are you thinking of um, that you are thinking, are you going to eat or you are going to pay for transportation? Mm. So some people resort to eating, mm. then trekking. Mm. <laughs> so somebody said all the food I ate like vanished yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> as a result of the trekking. But however it turns out, so we just pray for strength mm. and grace to um, run this race. Yeah. We sure. just believe it's a face. It mm. will definitely um, sure. pass away. God sure. says that, sure. you know, the Bible says that uh, we should cast our cares on him. Most times we go through a lot of stress because we think that we are able to handle own. the situation. And that's why you find yourself, you are busy calculating. Mm -hmm. and, and then you see another person that has all the problems that you, you are thinking, oh, these are challenges, these are problems. But the mm -hmm. person is happy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he understood that this thing is beyond him or her. And so God, take care mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about healthy boundaries. How important is this? I've heard people say, healthy boundaries shouldn't even be just in relationship mm. it should be in every sphere of your life mm. different kind of really you know when we talk about boundaries always people connect it to um some forms of intimate relationship mm. oh when, when this guy is coming to ask you out um oh be my girlfriend oh be my wife that's when you say i, I don't want us to do this i don't want to do this i can <laughs> accept this i mm. cannot like that's when you have all the discussion somebody said ah do you think that is to plan sex? Me, even when she tells you that no sex in the mm. relationship, they don't mm. see plan it now. Mm. When you go and you start touching, and it will just happen. It will just happen. <laughs> so, what happens so to safe control uh, in the yes. Bible? So, to, so, people have a lot of <laughs> excuse to give. Yeah. So, why are you saying let's create uh, a boundaries? Mm. And you're telling the guy, ah, I love you and I'm accepting this relationship, but please, so no sex. The guy mm. will say, ah, That's fine. Even me, I don't like things like that. All these mm. worldly mm. things. Mm. Mm. And all, oh, let's stick to purity and. <laughs> Tomorrow you tell you, ah, I would like us to hang out to one. You say, okay. So where are we going? Where are we sitting around? And guys say, no, it's in my house. So I'll mm. buy everything so that you mm. come over. And, when and you the come, house has ah, you look blue blue that like you <laughs> come over and cook. <laughs> and the house has blue <laughs> legs <laughs> and one bed. <laughs> Friends say, I'm prudent. Wow, this is your hair. Oh. Ah, let me see. Let, let me do something <laughs> from there. Mm. Ah. Can I feel the texture oh, of the hair? Some of these movies. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> some of us are watching a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, I don't like hanging out in public. <laughs> you know, I like privacy. I like privacy. Not yes, the people yes, had one <laughs> yeah. I'm not a people person. Yes, people that, person. that one rubbish is this. I want to hang out with you. I want to be seeing people. <laughs> and you tell me that I should come to the house. You buy everything and let's meet in the house. Which one is meeting the house? Why can't we go to the garden? Why can't we just hang out? Where mm. And person say, No, me. I don't really like crowd. I like I like. Mm. Like I like serenity. Mm. Oh, there's, yes, English there's and also finishing. serenity in public. <laughs> <laughs> there can be serenity no, in public. Of and you see you that once you decide to now hang out in the house, hang mm. out over inside <laughs> the house. All hang, this hang in. <laughs> <laughs> hang in. Thank you. Hang in. <laughs> so let's talk about this. It's it, it's just funny the scenario you just painted. A lot of times when we talk about um boundaries, boundaries. we tend to relate it mm. to the relationship um male and female relationship mm. and things of that nature however boundaries in general is like all encompassing your whole life there are boundaries that you have to set mm. your boundaries to discussions that you have mm. y you have with people 
your boundaries with mm. people that you relate with as friends or colleagues mm. there are boundaries everywhere you go there are boundaries there are br- boundaries you can't cross between you and your employer mm. there are boundaries you can't cross between you and a male colleague mm. there are boundaries that you can't cross th- that's as a female colleague mm. and there are boundaries that you can't cross as a friend let me explain. As a friend, friend, or as a, as a friend, as friend, friend, as a friend. As a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say there's cousin there, and there's, there's cousin. cousin. There's cousin. brother and there's brother. brother. There's uncle. There's uncle. There's uncle. There's uncle. uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so so that guy, there, there are those boundaries. Yeah. It's because of those boundaries that you have th- this kind of this kinds of saying. Mm. There are certain you find yourself in a circumstance and you have to behave in a certain way because you are with this person. Mm. But if you are with a different person, you cannot behave in the same way mm. so boundaries is your whole life is designed by boundaries mm. and when you don't have boundaries you tend to ingest a lot of things that you don't need to in fact even in your personal life you have you should have boundaries and when i say personal life i mean the books you read the movies you watch the things you do the things you even eat and things like that you should have boundaries to mm. them as mm. well um boundaries cannot be streamlined to one aspect of life mm. it's entirely your whole life mm. you need to have boundaries mm. that's true mm. and you know um setting healthy boundaries is something you make up your mind to do mm. and you, you you see to it that you do it mm-hmm. because you can decide to say okay um, i want to set boundaries mm. and then tomorrow someone is breaking into that boundary mm. and you're saying okay well since she's family mm. since she's my cousin mm. let me just make exception for her mm. no Healthy boundaries is something you make up your mind to do that one, and then you see to it that that boundary is something you keep. You don't you don't allow any sentiments to get into it. You don't allow any emotions. You don't make excuses for people that are breaking through that boundary true. because it affects you. Just like the topic says, healthy. Mm-hmm. It affects you. It affects mm-hmm. your health, be it physical, mental, financial. Mm-hmm. <laughs> true. Oh, get to that. Preach. Preach. Get to that. Many you see all those set of people that preach. you are the one working. They are the one yes, giving budget. No. So you yeah. see, with Don't your shake salary. that table now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll shake it. It's still money. We we'll break the legs. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you 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 don't make exception or excuses for mm. people because of that. And you know there are certain people that all they need to do mm. to keep you in a boundary distance is just to have one simple conversation with you. Mm. From that conversation they've rated you. Mm-hmm. They know mm-hmm. how far you should sure. be or how close you should be. Mm. They don't need to stay or live with you for, for a long time, time sure. for them to be able to do that just mm-hmm. one conversation is enough for them to rate you and know how they should keep you. And you know, a lot of times I, 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 I see this example of we building our houses and then having fence mm. over the house, fence and a gate. Mm. That is boundary. Mm. Mm. You can decide to just build your house without any fence. Mm. You're coming out of the house, you're moving, you're coming mm. in, and there's nothing wrong with it. But because we want some form of privacy, mm. we, we don't want every single thing we do to be monitored mm. by people. We just want this boundary. Okay, someone has to come to my house, he knocks first. Mm. You know, and th- th- there are certain things you do. That mm. is also boundary. Mm. So boundary is something you're being intentional about. Mm. Healthy boundary mm. is yes. something you're being Very intentional easy. about and making sure that you see it through. A lot of people find difficulties in setting boundaries because it's a childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. Probably they grew up not even knowing what a boundary is True. because people have trespassed into mm-hmm. their life mm-hmm. without knocking, without excuse, without anything. So mm-hmm. when they grow up, they find so much difficulty and even in a relationship setting, you find someone that has decided that, okay, I don't want to have any sex before marriage and that person is compromising mm-hmm. at a different point in time. That is the boundary issue. Mm-hmm. So if, y- if, if you're saying that you're going to set a healthy boundary for yourself mm-hmm. and someone is asking for the sex, you walk out. Mm-hmm. Or you tell the person in in accent clear and still mm. I do not, not want, want this, but because no, you the guy is too not nice now. Wait, wait, yes, for you to just walk out. So much and for you, have you, to go you cannot tell it all. <laughs> and you, you have to go an extra. But, but, yes. but, but there's also the fact that you have to go an extra mile and not just in accent clear and still, mm. Mm. but even in behaviors and your body I am communication. Sure, yeah. I, if it entails that you don't agree to spend certain time with this person don't do it mm. because 
it, sometimes when you keep talking and you talk and you talk, people are like, ah, she's just all talk. Mm, mm. Or he's just or all he's talk. Just all like the example we gave earlier about you hanging out and the person saying, I've provided everything, let remain inside. The, the healthy boundary is for you to remind the person, we had an agreement that we will always be outside, not inside. Give that person a reminder. He probably he is trying to say, okay, let's come inside and see your reaction. Mm -hmm. Are you giving room for it? Are you still standing strong mm -hmm. on the decision? And if he sees that you're shaky, he will say, wow, I think I'll be able to have this one, so let's keep coming <laughs> in. But when that person is saying, no, let's not go out. I don't like people. Let's be in. You remind the person, we had an agreement with you that we will always meet outside. So can we do that? You know, the person will know that, oh, this person, I can't just come in anyhow. And, you True. know, so he setting healthy boundaries is you making up your mind, being intentional about it, standing strong about it. Even when your own flesh is failing you, <laughs> <laughs> you decide <laughs> that, okay, I have agreed mm. that this is what I want to do. And you keep praying and asking for grace because sometimes our flesh would really go on zero and you, you want to just give in. Mm. So it's all about deciding, True. praying, and then standing very like true. Yeah. The body but is not the, the flesh is not always strong. Mm. <laughs> the true. spirit is willing. <laughs> <laughs> but the flesh is weak. You, you know, the, the flesh is a challenger of the spirit mm. and he, he, he is, is always loud trying to make the spirit because the spirit is always calm mm. trying to tell you this is the right thing to mm -hmm. do. This is the way to follow. Mm. And then that one is like ga, 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 like mm. it's loud. You, mm. you it won't allow you to just mm. settle down and even mm. listen and then take decision. Mm. So you see certain boundaries right from inception. Mm. Our life started with boundaries. Mm. That's when God created Adam and Eve and he created the mm. three there. Mm. He said boundaries. That's the beginning. Mm. Yeah. Do this, do this, but mm. don't but touch. Don't <laughs> but don't do and this. And they started don't with don't the don'ts. That's the boundary. Mm. <laughs> and they started with the don'ts. Mm. <laughs> So, mm. <coughs> as simple as that. So, you see, God is even intentional about our setting boundaries. Yes. Yes. So, why should you sit down and think and argue that you setting boundaries is a problem? Because there are certain people, once they set boundaries, mm. there's a way people see them. Mm. The next thing you will see, you said something very important mm. uh, when you were talking. You talk about you talking with somebody mm. and then him just listening to you or her mm. already he has known whether this person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, is somebody that I will put at arm's length or is somebody I will play with or with her or his intelligence. Mm. And this is what I'm trying to say. That's where you will see issue of blackmail coming. Mm -hmm. Because you set boundaries for certain things and then you see somebody blackmailing you. Mm -hmm. For the guys, he begins to make you feel because he asks for sex. You are not seeing him to be part of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have kept him for this long, maybe one year. He's, he's, he's just, he's just there. It's not just the one time. You, you understand? <laughs> and then he's using it all six months. <laughs> or he's telling you, ah, this relationship is old enough now. Mm. Mm. And then, uh, what are you thinking? I have options there. Women are disturbing me out there. But you that I love, look at the way you are treating me. Mm -hmm. How, y y are you not pitying me? Mm. Like he will put you in a position that you will just feel as if you are doing a wrong thing. And before you know it, that issue of compromise that you said, mm. set in. And before you know it, the, the next thing is regret. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just been patient for all these years, one mm. year, two years. Mm. And then the moment, and then he's like, already I've said it now. Mm. She's just blabbing. Mm. Or, or the other way around. Yeah, you, you understand? So it's, it's very important. We should not deceive ourselves. And then, like you said, keeping bond is holistic. Mm. It's holistic. Mm. Like she mentioned, there are there are there are ways you behave when you are with your boss mm -hmm. or when you are in the office. There are ways you behave when you are with your colleagues, the same cadre. Mm -hmm. There's a way you behave when you have your seniors. There's a way you behave when it's a family setting. Mm -hmm. There's a way you behave when you have your friends. There's a way you behave when someone is just an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Acquaintance to you. So you definitely you, you we just have to know it's a pattern of life that you just have to set boundaries. And without boundaries, that is when you find out the, the devil take advantage and intrude into a, you know, a space that he's not supposed to occupy. Mm. You may mention a building, mm. creating fence. Mm. Just imagine somebody building palo and creating route that will pass through <laughs> the palo to the <laughs> other community. 
You understand? Just mm-hmm. just imagine that. So if if we can build a room, and even if it's a one room, mm. you can see how some people keep setting places that out of bound. Out of bound. Mm. That's one room. Mm. If it's two room, three rooms, there are there are people that come that they, they don't have access mm. to Set certain places. Yes. It, it's so with our life. Mm-hmm. So the reason for boundary is for you to be guided, True. to know that see is is not everything that will just come in and goes out just like that as if as if as if you are just created without design you're not in market no. that's the reason why i said mm. a, a parlor you you mm. have a very beautiful du- duplex mm. but there's a road from your city room mm. to, to linking to the other community mm. it's that's a what, terrible experience you, you see boundary uh, generally uh, yes um generally you you w- well explained mm. It's just you coming to the point of saying, this is who I am. Mm. This is my focus. This is my goals. This, these are my principles. This is where I'm headed. Mm. And having that understanding of who you are, you're saying, these are my needs. These are my desires. And this, this is my limits. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, this is how far I can go. It is you coming to that point. And like I said earlier on, it's very important to have healthy boundaries in all spheres of life. It's not just about your relationship, your mm-hmm. husband relationship or your uh, um, <coughs> fiance, boyfriend, girlfriend relationship that you have boundaries. Mm-mm. At work, there should be boundaries. Amongst your friends, you should have bond boundaries. Mm. As you relate with your family members too, there should be boundaries. Mm. You cannot say, oh, it's my father. You can just jump to your father's room and sleep, lie down on his bed and say, mm. yeah, my father is very <laughs> friendly with me and this, this. this. Mm. You can just go and open his, his savings and just or carry his ATM, go and withdraw money and mm. he's not my father. Mm. Like you, you take certain decisions because you you have to create in all spheres of life. As you relate with your colleagues, as you relate with your boss, your subordinates, your, there should be boundaries. Most times, like we live in a world where people just like to compromise. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. people are just compromising. Sometimes I ask myself, like, why, what, what why, guides why? you? Mm. What motivates you? What is your, your, your point? Like what's your limit? Mm. Uh, you enter a public transport, for example, and you see somebody just indulging in conversation. Mm. You don't know the person from anywhere. And then you can even pour out your personal life mm. to the person. I, so, like one time I was in the public transport and somebody just hopped in. And when he entered, he, in less than a mit- minute, he adjusted his seating and he went close to the, to the driver like he, he was resting at the di- driver's chair and he was like hmm what is wrong with pastor's children mm-hmm. this girl hmm, if you know where i saw her yesterday but okay, i want to ask you what's actually wrong with pastor's children now then they will what pass and i then get pastor as their yeah. father say this girl now if you know where i see her yesterday if you know where i see her yesterday in my mind i wanted to say what you what what took you to that place that <laughs> you and what what made you feel that the judgment is going to be different, different. Mm. like mm. so who gave you even the moral right to say that okay now pastor like Janet now pastor Jenna. children Jenna. they, they mm. we would pass like you make a statement and you just hop in you don't know the person whether he's know. even a pastor or something you or maybe me that i'm beside i'm a pastor's child mm. 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 Ah. Mm. and you don't even know whether he's the same religion as you are Do you understand mm. and you just indulge in conversation you are pointing fingers at people you are mm. pouring your heart your personal life to people tomorrow you say ah, i've been scammed tomorrow you say ah my father is kidnapped mm. you forgot the moment you poured out poured information out. that you should not even pour out mm. to strangers and some of the things we suffer as individual, is individuals, even as families, is because of the things we pour, our lack of boundary. Mm. You True. go on social media, you just bought a car, you post the car, you're saying, ah, this I, this is what, how many billion, or what, mm. how many million, you got it yesterday, you're flaunting money, you're showing your latest, like all your plans for the life, all your investment, Free you're showing. Information. Tomorrow, and then you, there's you kidnapping. You know? Do you understand? And then at that point, you're thinking, God, why me? God, why me? So I, I will never stop emphasizing the need for healthy boundaries. Sometimes you get tempted. But when people are talking, you want to you want to just contribute. contribute. Who invited you? Mm. Some some people are so good with mm. you're passing and you're seeing two people conversing and you're sitting down to join the conversation. That's lack of boundary. Of you don't yes. you should have principles. Most of the issues around disrespect that we always face and experience that we're always saying, I'm the most disrespected at my workplace. I'm the most disrespected in this because house. You do not it's know because your boundaries. you don't have boundaries. Yes. If you check the family setting, there's this one person that is always respected. Mm. If you check 
check the like when there are conversation or when decisions are about they want to call the person to be part of that decision sure. everybody is calling you to say ah this mm. because like to some extent you have created that mm. now for some people again at work something that does not consign you mm. you it's not even in your unit mm. but you want to go and be part of it you want to show that i have more information than you are mm. and you see at the end of the day you get disrespected mm. and you say this person is very disrespectful mm. brother sister if you had not joined that conversation how would they disrespect you? you so you see the importance of even setting boundaries mm. it saves you a lot of mm. stress exactly. some of the things you go through earlier on i was talking about stress and anxiety mm. how lack of boundary can just make you worn out worn out like mm. Because you're you're saying I'm available for everything. Mm. When Very you got true. employed, you were you were told that this is your primary responsibility. Mm. And tomorrow you're asked that you should do this. You say, hey, I can do it. I'm available. I'm do and that. And then when the work is now pushed to you, you're now it's saying I'm doing everything. everything. I'm yeah. not paid. And this you didn't set boundary from mm. the beginning. You know there are people that will tell you that. See, this is how far I can go. That's why earlier on I said setting boundaries. You understanding mm. your needs, your desires, and your limits. Mm. So when the talk comes about, oh, who can do this? And they, I'm not saying that people should should hide their talents mm-hmm. and all, but mm-hmm. set boundaries is healthy for you, for your for your sanity. Some Very people true. are going through mental disorder not mm-hmm. because like they should go through it, but because they they are handling more than they should, mm-hmm. and that is resorting to stress, to anxiety, to depression, and even mental health issues. Some people come to work when they get back home, they don't even have time for their family. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they are born out. And so it's it's some of them still have work, work at home. Mm. Yeah. They, they even bring back the work home. So mm. when we say we, we're setting boundaries, it saves a lot of stress. Mm. That's one thing. Mm. And it, 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 it actually helps you navigate your life mm. easily. Mm-hmm. Because imagine, um, I heard someone saying, this, this is about a couple though. Um, there was a misunderstanding between the man's wife and his mother. And when he came back and uh, he came back, he heard that the mother was um, scolding his wife together with the f- his father. And he, c- he told his parents and sat them down and he said, I respect you as my parents, but this is my wife. If my wife has done anything wrong, call my attention, mm. then I would scold her. Mm. And, and this is him setting his own boundaries, saying, okay, you're my parents, but that's where your job stops. Mm. Don't infringe into my, f- don't, don't come into my family, my, my immediate family. This is me and my, ho- this is my home. I need to hold the reins of this mm. home and understand how the reins would go. Mm. So this is an understanding that he had to get to with his parents so that there's no stress. Later mm-hmm. on, he will not come and start hearing that my parents are, c- I mean, my parents are causing my wife an issue. Mm. That, that issue would not be there because he has already brought, um, mm. clearly stated that line. And that's how we're supposed to approach our lives mm. in general. Mm. There are s- there are lines that need to not be blurred for any reason. Mm. That line should be there, mm. clean and neat. Mm. Certain lines like how you need to communicate with people clearly. Mm. If you're at the office, you're here to do your job, and it's your job or n- nothing else. Mm-hmm. You're not going around to just um, gossip. You came to do a job, not to get information that you can drive about mm. people's personal, about people's life. personal <laughs> life. No, if 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 you are at church, this is what you came to do in church. Mm. If somebody decides to pour out his problems, this is a problem that is supposed to be in the boundaries of the church. Mm. If you are helping this child, this person, this child of God, help the person out within the boundaries of the church. There's no reason why that story should go out. There are just a lot of boundaries in life and, and, and it helps you navigate your life mm. in general. It's, it, it stops a lot of tr- unwanted trouble. In fact, the peace that you find when you do things the way that you're supposed to do, mm. when you have boundaries, mm. it's just marvelous. I know that in school, there was a time that, while I was in school, there was a time that I, I felt... I was kind of antisocial. I was basically just me, my books, and my novels. Me, my books, and my novels. And church, apparently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so th- that was my circle. And a lot of people will come and say things like, ah, baby girl, you will not do something else. Why is your circle so closely knit? Would it not, are you not detached and all that? Um, but at some point, I understood mm-hmm. that 
staying in that closely knitted circle does not necessarily mean that I'm not social because when I need to be I was but that I understood what I came to school to do mm. and I'm doing my best to accomplish that mm. and it saved me a lot of unwanted stress mm. and it happens in life that if you do exactly what you have placed that's why people keep telling you that priorities are essential you need to have values you, ha- you need to have um boundaries because these things would help you navigate your life easily um when when it comes to the issue of depression you would really curtail the reasons why you would get depression and you know because earlier you on there was something you said mm-hmm. about um being able to see your needs your wants what you want mm-hmm. and i think i would i would agree with that and say being able to communicate your wants and need clearly clearly mm-hmm. you know it's not about sign language or about <laughs> actions <laughs> say, or well if i attitude yes <laughs> no. yes it's not about just keeping a particular attitude and hoping that the person you understands understand. mm. nobody is responsible for what you do but it's only when you open your mouth i mean i'll tell you, you i'm not a magician yes, yes. So I would not and, and even when you open your mouth and mm. say it, people still assume mm-hmm. you hear you, you at the end of the day you hear people saying I thought you meant, meant this. <laughs> I was thinking this <laughs> was what oh, I Or they had. tell you you should know. <laughs> I'm not a magician. I can't. So you have know. to in mm. certain healthy boundaries, you have to clearly state out mm-hmm. what, what you, you want. want. Mm. And even if the person is not understanding, repeat yourself True. constantly. True. Communicate True. what you want clearly. Mm. And also you should be able to say no. If you are set out on a mission for healthy boundaries, you should be able to say no all outrightly. the time. Mm. Outrightly. outrightly. Mm. In its word, no. Mm. Not well if you can. Uh-uh. S- call it out. But I think there are conditions that you need to adjust. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. You should be able to say be. no mm. to people. Mm. Yeah, there are certain conditions that you really need to apply mm. other things. But if it is a no, let it be a no. And then if you are saying no to people, you should also respect other people's no. Mm. Because mm. you cannot yeah. say no mm. and then Solomon Sambo will be telling you no and you're not accepting it. Mm. Just the way you have healthy boundaries, Solomon Sambo also has healthy boundaries. Uh, Joyce, should. Prudence, everyone mm. also has it. So because you are saying no, you should also know that other people will tell you no. And when they do, mm. it should get to a point that you should respect mm. their no mm. and also stick to it. You know, when it. I said there are, there are instances that you, you need to adjust. Mm. For example, when we said the show, we we're talking about intimate relationship, how that some people will say, ah, me, oh, I'm, I don't want sex and all that. And then you eventually got married to that person mm. that respected that boundary. And you're saying, the person is coming to you and you are saying, wants to get intimate and you're telling that, ah, me, I'm not the sex type. Oh. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> we had created that boundary mm. scene. So, mm. and now you're married, you're still telling the person that, no. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> you, you don't want to be Because he won't take you it. Don't, you don't even want to At that marriage. point, it should be like, ah, you made me wait. <laughs> and now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he will not take because that. Because you hear some, some people say, okay, marriage. maybe some, you, are, you people are the married people, but you hear, issues around struggling with your with your spouse and and all but you think there are, there are moments that i think that you should adjust even if you have boundaries yeah. that you should adjust you can't get married eventually mm-hmm. and then you're saying it's my space as a mm-hmm. as a man mm-hmm. no you don't have access to this you are the, you are just a wife you should not know there, there are instances that you should adjust and you were talking about how that you we need to respect one another's uh, boundary in fact i can tell that there are some people that don't have healthy boundaries mm. but it is up to me to still respect and place yes. the boundary yes. for example i am an employee and my employer does not like does not have a boundary or my boss does not have a boundary or did it even create Set one it. or communicate mm. it or i see him or her flaunting the boundaries mm. I should still create it and respect it. Because that he is my still your boss. Do you, she is you, still do you your understand? Boss. Because that the person decided mm. to indulge me in jokes in conversation does not mean that I should lose out of my senses. Of Even mm. as they are coming now, let's don't worry, there's nothing there mm. and all of that. You should respect the fact that this person is your boss. Yes. Even mm. if he does not create the boundaries, mm. you create should create that it. boundary. So Tr- sometimes we, we feel that I've communicated my boundaries. Some Muslim did not communicate it. So should since he does not have a boundary, so I should treat him mm. like that. No, mm. you should create it for that mm. person. Mm-hmm. You should have your limit 
and then if you see that this person did not even communicate the boundary i should know how to relate to, to him mm. as my colleague his personal life is none of my business until he wishes to communicate mm. it exactly. so why should i come to him and be forcing him to talk about his personal life no we are at work and our only business and what connect us is the job mm. so we what, what what are we expected to do get things done mm. but if he so chooses to communicate his personal life fine but if he doesn't i should not indulge him or force him to bring up because some of us that's what we do at yes. work mm. yeah. you want to know somebody's personal life mm. ah who did you get married to what's the family of your husband mm. oh what's the family of your wife oh what's the history of where your village and all you want to know you have not seen somebody that comes to work mm. at the time he or she is supposed to come and closes at the time that he's expected to close and goes home and that has been the that has issues mm -hmm. at work yes. mm -hmm. you hardly find that mm -hmm. but you see all those weights sit and wait mm -hmm. or you see those that come either even in days that you're not supposed to be in the office <laughs> you decided <laughs> that no i want to come mm -hmm. I, or you're invited another friend to come and join you mm -hmm. you easily have issues yes. why because you are done with your work mm -hmm. but you decide oh i want to stay back from the staying back i want to indulge sambo solomon mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do you know that yesterday before you know you're already talking about people's personal life mm. tomorrow the other person now you now have a fight with him or her mm. the person now returned to the other person hmm. this person told me that your mother is retired mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. mm. this person told me that your father was an armed robber mm. uh. okay. this person told me you're dating a, yeah, okay, okay, sit down. Let me you're dating you. a yahoo let boy me you too. and this let person will say let me just you person when the person is, yeah? is mm. done they will mm. now they call will you to do sharia judgment do you understand so you just save yourself. yourself all those threads. But you yeah. see, mm -hmm. I see setting boundaries, Ba, mm -hmm. to be doing the right thing. Mm. Based on what you said. Mm -hmm. you, you just doing the right thing. Mm. Doing the right thing. And that is what will save you from a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Like you rightly said. Because Very true. doing the right thing, that's what the Bible is calling our attention to. Mm. And you talk about communication and it should be clear. Mm. That is why the Bible clearly communicated what God wants. Mm. As long as you confess mm. that you want to be part of his kingdom mm. by receiving his son as your personal Lord and Savior. Mm. He said once you do that, mm. you will not do this, you will not do that. Mm. You will do this boundaries. and this mm. and this. The boundaries clear are boundaries. very clear. Mm. So clear if you are boundaries. Christian, I don't think you should struggle with struggle issue with of boundaries <laughs> because yeah. already our life is being patterned. Mm. True. It's I been pattern. So just follow it. So that's the reason why I say in summary is mm -hmm. doing what is right. Mm -hmm. Because if you are doing what is right, that is when even if your boss mm -hmm. is flaunting his or her boundary, mm -hmm. already you you know what is right. You know and what, what did the Bible say? To him who know what is right I refuse, and refuse to, to do, do is being counted as, as a sin. As a sin. Mm -hmm. That's why well, if you do don't respect other people's boundaries, people will not respect yours. Do unto others <laughs> what you want them. Why did you steal do my words? Do, 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 uh. do you understand? <laughs> that was what I was about to say. Do you understand? Yes. That is just it. Mm. That is just it. True. So because somebody is not doing the right thing, mm. you follow the person. It doesn't speak well about you. Mm. You that know. You mentioned something earlier. You said it all boils down to who you are. Mm. Who you are. What, what, what what's your, your purpose? What's your guiding, mm. principle? What's your guiding principle? I mean, you so, can't live life so just anyhow. Just open, like you, like you are just there. And you see the danger of you living life mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. carelessly. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Bible, uh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, 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 warn us. Exactly. You understand? He warned us about our living our life mm -hmm. carelessly. Mm -hmm. And then you see, wh when you talk about, um, you, you talk about res respecting boundaries, mm -hmm doing what is right you see our life right three things guide us you have a public life you have a private life and you have a secret life mm -hmm. we have seen jesus in public mm -hmm. we have seen him in private we have seen him in secret that is when when he was leaving to go and pray to have an intimacy with his father he took three of his disciples, but he left them, mm. right, to go to the secret. Mm. <laughs> Only he went there. He mm. said, you wait here. He left the 12. Mm. Oh, okay, 12 <laughs> minus, <laughs> minus three. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> he left the remaining there, mm. picked three, left them somewhere, and he went to the <laughs> inner, inner. So you see, this is how our life is. Once you know that mm. private life, 
public life and secret life. By so, you will know what is secret mm-hmm. about your life. What you should guide with every machinery. You should know when uh, is is uh, public. You know how to conduct yourself mm. in public. That is why some people, when they are behaving in public, there's a way people look at like, is this person okay? Mm-hmm. Then you know the person doesn't even understand public boundaries. Mm. You understand? So these three things will even guide you mm. to know how to even uh, plan your life. Mm. Yeah, Because you plan your life based sure. on that. And it will help you. It will save you from so much trouble. Yes. And that is what God, uh, Jesus himself, designed for us. Mm-hmm. Because this world, we are living in a world of compromise. Mm-hmm. And God doesn't want us to compromise. And he said a standard that will follow through Jesus Christ. And he said, this is the pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you are living in a compromised world. And this is not your calling. Mm-hmm. So this is the pattern which you should live. So by so doing, you should know that your pattern is being guided by doing what is right. By doing what is right, you know every boundary is being set. Mm. So if you follow that, it will save you from problem. Mm. And the ultimate and the overall problem mm. is you finding yourself in hellfire. <laughs> true, very true. true. And, and, and I find it weird. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a better word. That a Christian would, 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 would struggle with boundaries because our whole lives are designed with boundaries. In fact, you go through the scriptures and you, what almost in every part of the scripture, you're finding boundaries that are set for you. Mm. Boundaries that you should not covet your neighbor's properties. properties. Mm-hmm. That's a boundary set. It, the boundary that you should... Um, the boundary on your moral life, the boundary that you should not... Um, you should not steal the boundary that you should not murder the boundary that you should not have any other god aside from the god that mm-hmm. is god mm. there are just a whole lot of boundaries the, the book of proverbs has a lot of wisdom but then again if you look at those wisdom those words of wisdom is just boundaries mm. ecclesiastics goes in much higher to tell you there's a season for everything, everything. under mm. the sun mm. True. boundaries so our whole lives are designed around boundaries mm. so for you to easily it, it was supposed to so that you have a very easy life mm. navigate so your life so easily it just goes <laughs> ahead to, to let you know how that we don't study mm. we don't study because mm. if you see somebody living his life carelessly or if you see somebody compromising so like you can just easily tell that you don't study mm-hmm. because if you do then you will know these are like like she said it's easy it's, a christian should not struggle with boundaries mm-hmm. because in our belief lies what we should do mm. and what we should not, not do true. this is the extent we can go and this is where we have to stop mm. so but you see a lot of times because oh people make us we, we live in the world so because of our interaction people tell you the bible warns against relationship with uh, like the world mm. and then bad companies but mm. you say i know who i am they cannot corrupt me mm. At the end of the day, you see your life. Like People cannot see you and tell where you stand. Mm. Mm. It's a terrible thing that if you say you're a Christian, you don't even need... people. You should not even introduce yourself as a Christian, for mm. example. Mm. That yes. people should just, True. by your fruits, they should tell that this person must mm. be a Christian. But yes. today, you have to even write in your form that I'm a Christian. Mm. Why? Because what and the they will sit down. non-believers are and doing sit down. is what you are I'm also doing <laughs> like you, th- you can't tell the difference there's no boundary mm. so what the unbelievers are doing is also what you are doing there's no difference so how can you tell oh i'm a christian you have to defend yourself that you're a christian sometimes they even go ahead to tell you that you should quote a bible mm. verse and you're struggling mm. is either you're cutting out of context or you're you're quoting the <laughs> john three <3C. laughs> that's the popular <laughs> and all, all, all john the uh, john three uh, d- d- John 335. It's just important. We can't afford to you to mm. live carelessly. Honestly, you have to set healthy boundaries. Mm. There are situations that it's almost difficult for you to say no. But I tell you, communication can be both verbal and non-verbal. Mm. Your body language should also mm. tell. Sometimes we say outrightly no, but our body language communicates yes. that we Something are in. Mm. Mm. Yes. And mm. that is why mm. when person is telling you that, oh, are you are you are you game? No. Are you game? But your body language is telling, I want, I want to do more. Mm. Mm. So you see, I- there are instances that you might not be able to communicate outrightly. No. Mm. 
But your non-verbal communication can tell that this person mm -hmm. is not game. I can be communicating with you if you're with me. I know if you're not with me. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see, when people start giving excuses, oh, I was forced to, I was do this, forced to do this. Even the Bible gives us the, the, the ch choice. Yes. <laughs> and, and to add to what you said, Joyce, mm. you see, there are there are situations mm. that we warrant you not to outrightly say no, like mm -hmm. you, you like you body said. language. So. But you see, even the no, whether verbal or mm. non-verbal, mm. can cost you something very very precious. Mm -hmm. It may cost you your life. Mm -hmm. That's why I say very very precious. Mm. So you should know. You mentioned something earlier mm. uh, about us being deliberate. Mm -hmm. So you have to be deliberate. For you to be deliberate, you have to know who you are. Look at how Jesus was deliberate about every move of his. Mm. That finally, his no for not compromising took him to the cross. Mm. Okay. You, you, you get. Mm. So, your no in the office mm. can cost you your job yeah. True. from your boss. People can gang up against you yes. simply because of your principle yeah. and what you believe and your morals. Mm. People can just gang up against you and then they kick you out. And they tell you, I don't like this sample and so much. It's very principled. It's principled it's to the core. That is it. That's people with boundaries. Yes. Most times things. people that have boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. Is he principled to the core for the right things? <laughs> you understand? It. No, people that's just want you to compromise. Yes. People want because to compromise. Yes. When you have principle mm. Mm. and then you are being guided by your principle, which summarily is your boundary mm. people don't like you they say this person is too principal why mm. because when they expect you to say yes you say no no as far as this thing is wrong i won't do this mm. i won't be an accomplice mm. i will not authenticate this mm. so they say this person is too uh, is too principal they don't want to do things mm. with you they're looking for people that say that oh i will not cross this limit but when you mm. touch them like this they say have no problem let's, let's go, go. Mm. like be be the man of your word mm. let's why stand for something let people know you for, for something, something. That mm. when people talk about you, when your name is mentioned, people can say, ah, if it's no. this person, don't go close. Even no. if exactly. you are no that longer person. there. Yeah. Why, yeah. why does the scripture have to go? When this person was here, yeah. he I will never. never. Mm. Why does the scripture have to go an extra mile and say something like, let your yes be yes mm. and your no be no? Mm. Straight. It's just so you don't even have hypocrisy mm. anywhere found. This mm. is boundary in its true essence. Your no is your no and your yes is your yes. Mm -hmm. You stand Not by to it. Not to no with a to spring of yes. No, they can say, oh, 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 oh yes for just, <laughs> one, for just today. They say, I'll do it, but only today. <laughs> only today. And you <laughs> find yourself doing it over and over oh again. Later, you are depressed. You are suppressed. Hmm. You, are, you are struggling with anxiety, with resentment, hmm. mental disorder because of that once that you say, okay, let me just do it today. After hmm. today, I will not do it again. Hmm. Then you, you find yourself doing it do over I'm and actually, over. I'm actually hmm. still stuck at... <laughs> no, with a sprinkle of yes. yes. <laughs> no. You're saying no, but there, there are elements of yes in your body. No. Nobody, language. yes, <laughs> nobody would want to take you serious mm. because they are. Si you are saying no, but you are smiling. Mm. How is that supposed to be a no? Mm. Or you're saying no now? Uh, no now. No you no have now. to really no pick no. inside no. and stick to it. Not when the crowd are going this way, you follow. When they mm. come this way, no. You have to really show that what you want is what you are portraying, mm -hmm. and don't do any other thing. Otherwise. Very true, yeah. very true, uh, and 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 I think that it's not it's not wrong that we reiterate that when you say you have set boundaries, mm -hmm. let us see you going through with it. Healthy boundaries. Mm -hmm. Let me <laughs> qualify that. Mm -hmm. When you say you have set healthy boundaries, mm -hmm. let us see you going through with it to the latter. Mm -hmm. Let there be no reason why you are being swayed. Mm -hmm. Don't be. If it is a healthy boundary, and especially for Christians where we already have out streamlined boundaries that are just there for us, that we just need to follow, let us follow it to the latter. Mm -hmm. Let's not start the race and stop halfway. Any, if you if you follow athletics mm -hmm. well, if you start a race and you stop halfway, you are disqualified. Mm -hmm. So. You, even if, if they are if coming you are the last, last person, you must just cross finish, that line. Cross, mm -hmm. cross the line as and well. To be on record that you came, you last. came last. last, exactly. So, so even if it is going to be that way, mm -hmm. just continue. Mm -hmm. Although we are really hoping that you would aim for the better mm -hmm. position, but work In towards Christian it. Race, to we the don't end. have last. Th th they're still last. Mm -hmm. Some of us are very lazy to put in the effort. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just being really realistic here. Some of us say that we have boundaries and we say that we have made certain decisions, mm -hmm. but we are very lazy to see them through. Mm -hmm. This is not about um, circumstances making it hard for us. No, it is 
our laziness stopping but, but us when from I talk, accomplishing when I talk it. About, I, I get your what you're point. Saying, <laughs> but when I'm talking about Christian race, I, I'm talking about deliberate True, De- I deliberate point. ones, those that are committed mm-hmm. to the race, mm-hmm. we all run together. They will not tell you this one became first. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> we all run and we win together. We if you are committed, yeah, at our own time. That's that's what I I, I, I get where you're coming from. But what mm-hmm. I'm saying is just that let us not let laziness be something that mm-hmm. will deter us from certain boundaries that we have mm-hmm. we have set. Mm-hmm. So so study. keep study, keep pushing, mm-hmm. keep striving. Boundaries are there to protect you, mm-hmm. not to enslave you. Mm-hmm. They are protecting you, not enslaving you. Mm-hmm. It helps you get a, an easier life, a better life, free from all this. You see, trauma. In fact, you put your hands in some things mm-hmm. and you're coming ma- out of them and you're mm-hmm. traumatized. Mm-hmm. So to even save yourself from being traumatized, just stay away. Mm-hmm. And, and you see, you, you, this issue of study is very important. Mm-hmm. You know, w- because when you study, that's when you discover certain things that you are doing wrong. True. And it will help you to come out of it. Mm. Even though it's not easy. Mm. Because <laughs> when you make up your mind, after mm. understanding, after after reading and understanding, when you say you want to come out of it, that's mm. when people will begin to mock you. Mm. Ah, when? Like, <laughs> when? You, you want to tell me that you are changed? You want to tell me that you, you smoke, like smoke, smoking? <laughs> like, you don't drink <laughs> now? Like, are you serious? When? When that, did this like happen? They, will see, they will start mocking you. Mm-hmm. Then they will start giving you attaching names. Don't bother. Mm-hmm. That should not shake you. Mm-hmm. Because already now you have the knowledge mm-hmm. that is telling you exactly who you are. Mm-hmm. Because like you mentioned mm-hmm. earlier, some is because from the beginning, you know, our upbringing, mm-hmm. the, we, we, some grew up in, in the family that mm-hmm. there is no boundary. Like everything goes. We know. These things are out there. True. People grow in a family that there is no boundary. That's why you will see a family talking to a child misbehaving. Mm. And you will say, no, Kabari Shikawa, just leave him as a child. Mm. I, I, L- like, seriously? Mm. Truly. So how do you expect that child to be, to be well-guided and well-groomed, to mm. know certain to know boundaries, something. to respect mm. elders, mm. to know what is right? I want to. So there are some like that. But we, we say as we grow, we learn mm. and unlearn. Mm-hmm. How do you learn? associating your, yourself with people that already have a higher understanding mm. and you committing yourself and being deliberate about your growth mm. yes. by reading mm. reading good books mm. you understand reading the word of god mm. because it's the ultimate mm. that will tell you who you are in christ and will tell you the authority and the power mm. you have to say no mm. on, certain on certain things certain even things. when the time is difficult mm-hmm. because true. now we are talking about the times that are difficult like look at now the condition of this country mm. now so many people are compromising they told me about uh, uh, certain Christian in this part of the world. Mm-hmm. Now, like, you know that the, because of issue of banditry and then the kidnapping and the rest, mm-hmm. now they are attaching the church and the tradition. They are mixing you it understand? Too. They are mixing it because they are going to collect something to come and bury to or fortify. to tie to fortify so that they will add the power so that the power will be more stronger. Mm -hmm. So you see what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But what is the Bible saying concerning you even when the times are hard? Mm -hmm. You have to be dogged, read more Mm -hmm. and stand and commit to that calling which you you, you, you are being called. And you know you have to very, very important. I I know you have to set your own boundaries. It's not based on the boundaries that someone else have said that have worked for him. Mm. Because, you know, el- earlier on, we talked about our principles, what we believe in and all of that. My principles may align with yours, but it doesn't mean it is 100% in alignment. So I have to sit down and set my own mm. as it relates to me as a person. Even twins saying? are not mm. the same. Mm. So you cannot set, I cannot depend on your own boundary because mm. it has yielded great results. No, mm. everyone should learn to mm. set his own battles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> own <boundaries>. His own <laughs> boundaries because our battles I mean, are all right, different. Very your true. boundaries can be your battles. Yes. Because mm. you see, boundaries is not for the weak. Mm. It's, true. it's not for the lazy. Mm. It's for the tough. Mm. Yes. Like yes. It's, it's just for the it's very true. If it's you true. are not, you can't have boundary. You have mm. to be tough because mm. a lot of times people are coming to you to compromise. You compromise. Mm. So as you are setting your boundary, you are setting your, your battle, battle because you have to face mm-hmm. it and you have to be ready for mm. that. True. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I know that it's it's like our time is fast spent. So mm. I, I just wanted to touch a little bit that just like sh- um, Joy said earlier, on, there are certain times and scenarios that boundaries should be. Um, you should 
you, you should not um, outrightly say no to certain situations. But I was thinking of this when 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 you have a child, especially a teenager, and he goes saying that it's my privacy, this is my boundary, don't cross it. Um, co- especially concerning things that have to do with his room, his phones, and all those things. I don't think those are boundaries that should n- yeah. necessarily be like. Um, let me get the better word. Necessarily to be followed to the latter. These are things that you need to find a way to compromise and see eye to eye with your child on, so that you're able to adjust and help that child. Because a lot of children are struggling, and they keep telling you it's their privacy, it's their boundary. Mm. So find a way to bridge that relationship, so that those boundaries will not cause you more trouble down the road. Mm. Um, um, I know that it's just late thinking about this, but I just thought that il- someone out there would want to hear something like this. Teenagers are not easy people to handle. They're not easy people to communicate with. And so you should know how to talk with them and how to relate with them that they can easily, some of them would joyfully give them those access to this thing, give you the access to you're looking for to certain of um, privacy, and I'm putting that in quotes, that they claim to have. So just be patient with them and try to find a common ground mm. with this team. Let me add quickly, sorry. Y- y- we talked about issue of communication. Mm. You have to communicate clear to your children. Mm. Yes, they are your children, mm. but you should find a way mm. of communicating clearly to them mm. and, and, and choose a pattern of communication that you think you can adopt and it will work for you. Mm. Because if you have three children, the way you talk to the first child may it's be totally different from the way you talk to the third child. Mm. So you should understand that. And then uh, um, um, we should know that um, because of the nature of um, our present generation, the way it is, everything is changing. Mm. So don't adopt a particular pattern and say this is how you are being groomed. Mm. And you are forced, you will force your children and say this is the way to go. You have to apply wisdom, mm. but overall, I think the word of God, if you groom them with the word of God and you communicate clearly, they know the reason why you are telling them what you are telling them. You are trying to guide them. You are trying to help them. You are trying to mold them to give them shape in life. I don't think there's something wrong. True. And I think they, at the end, they will appreciate you, even mm-hmm. if you are not alive. And later on, they will be able to set their own healthy boundaries, boundaries. by themselves mm-hmm. with confidence, mm-hmm. in fact. Mm-hmm. so You know, really children, they are, they are a gift to us mm-hmm. for us to guide them. Mm-hmm. That's just it. That's the primary reason why you are being gifted. Y- you know, mm-hmm. you are to guide them. So when you guide them, how do you guide them? You guide them with the word of God. Mm-hmm. So when they wh- when they grow, as the Bible say, they will not depart from it. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So let's guide them with the word of God mm-hmm. and then uh, allow God to do the rest. Well and said. Pray us. Mm-hmm. Well said. Pray yeah. for them. You know, when I, I hope I'm not taken out of context because when I said communicating your boundary can be verbal or non-verbal, mm. You see, when I chat you up and I say hi, knowing well that you're married, mm. hi, mm. and I tomorrow you look good, next tomorrow you are beautiful, next tomorrow can we see, and all those communications, you don't respond to me. Mm. I don't need anybody to tell me that mm. you're not interested. Mm. Mm. You have communicated that. Mm. When I keep calling you after chatting, sending you message, I'm calling you, don't respond. I don't need any mm. magician to interpret that to me. Mm. It shows that you are not interested. Mm. So there's mm. times that even our bosses, or our, our superiors in the mm. office, they, they, they ask you to do certain things, and then you don't want to sound disrespectful to them, but they are better with non-verbal communication that you can mm. use. Mm. I mean, it's still a means of communication. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you still use to, mm. to outrightly say no. no. Mm. And then they already know that mm. this person is not in and it's mm. called it wis- works. It's mm. called wisdom. Mm. Wisdom, <laughs> <indeed>. wisdom, <laughs> wisdom. Yes. So we live in a time where people are really compromising. A lot of hardship. People compromise because of poverty. People compromise because of hunger. People compromise because of insecurity. Down to even voting of our representatives. Mm -hmm. We just compromise because of one reason or the other. I want to appeal to you to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, that can help you to remain focused on your purpose and your goals in life. The Bible made us to understand that the devil roams like a lion looking for who to devour. It is only by setting boundaries knowing who you are, your calling, and your purpose that will help you scale through. Thank you for doing this with us. We're coming your way tomorrow with another interesting topic. My name is Joyce Jakada. I did this with Sambo Solomon, Jemima, and Prudence. We really appreciate the Equa Executive, our supporters, the crew, 
that made this possible. We want to say thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed week. Thank you.